like it. Something I found one day made me think of you. Go on, tell me, what do you think? Joe, look out! expecting to hear from you till the weekend. What? What happened? I'll be right there. One of the things when we came back from our five year break and we decided to kind of relaunch Nicomel was to look at our outstanding projects that essentially had been abandoned. And to me, immediately that stood out was the object legacy. This was a film that was at currently was over two hours long and was about 80 to 90 percent finished it just had a few missing scenes and a few character arcs that weren't completed so to me obviously it's the ending of this epic kind of story i've been telling and i wanted to finish it in some way so i i went away after we'd come back and thought about it for a second because with the shape of things to come that was essentially me put dipping my toe back into the world and kind of going this is kind of like an abridged version of how the the, the film kind of ends um and now with that in context i thought well that would be a great way to do the reshoots you have the shape of things to come before object legacy and you, you with that knowledge you go in and with our new plot line with the reshoots we have essentially this a similar storyline to the business when where the whole film is a flashback and now it this subplot with uh, mr myers and jack having this conversation discussing what's what's real what's happened what you know it, it's it's going to be an interesting through line to the story and it will also help fill those gaps that are missing because over obviously the the over 10 years where we started this project some some actors have left some actors are unable to return so we had to figure out a way to essentially fill those gaps where those actors are missing life is a weird experience life is a weird experience one minute everything seemed perfect. One minute everything seemed perfect. And then suddenly it all goes downhill. And then suddenly it all goes downhill. I thought my life was over. I thought my life was over. But I was wrong. But I was wrong. He's, He's not responsible, responsible to treatment. treatment. We're, We're losing, losing him. Get the defibrillator. Ready? Three, two, one. Clear.
Who do you fight for, <laughs> Jackar? Carl came back for a reason. What happened to this first? Kill himself. Before he died, however, he told, he told us of a prophecy. A prophecy revolving around five people, five, five friends. friends. And these, these friends, friends are destined, destined to save the world. Where is Carl? Closer, Closer than you think. think. He's recruiting. recruiting. A close, close friend of yours. A war is coming. To stop it. I will have have then vengeance. <laughs> Obviously this isn't the only thing we're reshooting with with these reshoots. We're adding a little bit more with certain characters. I don't want to say too much, but uh, I've, I've talked extensively before about adding the second antagonist, Nathaniel, played by Robin. And we're hoping to bulk up that storyline as well, because now in this bigger mythos of the Warriors saga, Nathaniel is such a big character and I wanted to establish that a lot more and there's this brilliant scene that we've written that hopefully we're shooting soon between Nathaniel and, and Mr. Myers that really establishes like almost the history of this world it goes back almost 50 years to you know really gr ground down that this world's been around for a while not just since the the, the object began but the, the, this through line story began long before the film started Another thing we're also doing with the reshoots is just adding a little bit of context. We're, we're filming a new scene where it's essentially a news report about uh, how long it's been between, say, the end of The Businessman when Seth approaches Jack and then there's like a four to five year time jump. So we have a news reporter reporting what's happened to the Myers family and stuff like that. So for me, these were crucial kind of elements to fill in the gaps for this film because to me it's such a film with such heart and so many people put so much effort into it and that that's why I don't want to give up on it and now in hindsight starting final report having an epilogue to this film I can now use knowledge of what happens in in future films to kind of go back to lay seeds to that for, to that final film so it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out i'm really excited to see the final version obviously the original work print with essentially how we left the film off has been shown to the cast and crew just to kind of you know go look, look this is what we've done so far and it has slides in between where the gaps are to basically say what is going to happen in between the, those gaps so I, I not only is it going to be nice for me but hopefully the cast to see the differences between that original work print which obviously has no effects or anything but it has all the scenes cut together and then see the final version the reborn version as I did with the trailer of this film and see how this epic conclusion uh, comes and have hopefully some surprises for even the cast and crew because there's a couple of new scenes I've written that they don't even know about so it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out and how this leads into final report and possibly the future of the franchise depending on how far we go.
while the reshoots will add more of Mr. Myers and Jack Harper, I didn't want to take away the fact that this film is uh, focused on Jeffrey and Andrew, played by Stephen Harvey. It's still their film, it's still about them. We're just supplementary characters kind of supporting their role and bolstering the story almost. I didn't want to take away from the urgency of what the original story was, which is about these two characters finding each other and figuring a way to help each other to escape this supernatural world that has surrounded them and engulfed them and is on the verge of destroying everything they know. So to me, that core storyline is still the main bite of the film, shall we say. That's still what is driving the film. And while we do have excellent B storylines with Seth and Nathaniel and Mr. Myers and obviously Joanna as well, uh, the, the, the main through line is Jeff and Andrew and their struggle with the object. And I, I can't wait for people to see that storyline come to fruition. Sorry guys, I've got to take this. I won't be a minute. Frost, is that you? Where have you been? Everybody's been looking for you. Obviously the story of the object began with this simple short film with this idea of this mysterious object uh, that Andrew Myers finds and it turns his world upside down. And to think that spawned so many spin-off films and now we're at this point where we are making this sequel that to a essentially an eight minute film to then be a, a sequel that's like over two hours is is crazy but there's so much mythology that's been added to this universe there's so much depth and lore that will only kind of be teased in Object Legacy. Obviously you'll get the answers that you want for the films that we've provided but we'll be laying hints down for the future of this world and what happens later because I want this world to feel very even though it's very much a supernatural world I want it to feel grounded and very much feel like it's a world that's been lived in. Don't! Ironically, I wanted this film to focus solely on Jeff and Andrew and their conflict. But because of the reshoots, Jack, who obviously, because I'm playing him, I chose that character to play for a reason because he's a fan favorite of mine. Because of the reshoots, he's now shot up a bit more kind of prominently. So Object Legacy has become a lot, even though it was a sequel to Businessman, it's even more of a sequel now. So people that really love The Businessman, I think will really uh, enjoy the object legacy and how that story continues. Because in my mind, if you've watched all the short films and The Businessman, you'll be very much more locked in on the world, all the happenings that are going on. But you could also just watch The Businessman and The Object Legacy and probably be happy with the world because one of the main tagline of The Object Legacy is all the pieces come together and that is one of the promises I want to keep, I want to try and explain as much as possible without going over the top with it. So I hope that people enjoy where the story ends up 
and some of the teases that lay the groundwork for the future and hopefully I see that future at some point. Obviously we still do have final report coming out that kind of ties up a few loose ends and sets up the future of this world but I'd, I'd, I'd love to see how this world goes in and these characters evolve maybe in some format or another we we'll shall see so thank you very much for all being along for the ride and the board and I'll see you soon Frost Frost What's going on here, Andrew? What the hell is that thing chasing us? And what the hell is this? I don't know what the object is. I don't even know where it came from. Ah! Oh, I know what it does. I mean, I can guess what it does. It gets you stuck in time. There's more than that. It's just altering time. It alters reality. Save yourself.